Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your arms and core sculpt workout. In this workout, we're gonna work the entire upper body and core. So we've got arms, back, shoulders, chest, and all of your ab muscles using dumbbells and kettlebells if you have them. Otherwise, just use what you've got. We're gonna get strength and sculpt and of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options to work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, so let's start just by moving our bodies. We're gonna get a quick warm up, specifically for the upper body, but we'll get some lower body and back in there as well. So go ahead and march, get the blood flowing. We're gonna get the body's core temperature up, and then we are gonna jump right in with some weights. Let's roll those shoulders. So you can see I have dumbbells and kettlebells behind me. Totally up to you, 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 you use whatever you have available to you. Let's take it out with a little side step. You don't have to get super low, but just to open up the hips and really big stretch through the chest and shoulders right through here. So you use whatever you have at home. The reason that I have both is because the way this is gonna work is we are gonna have a strength round, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Let's take it up right here. Big stretch and then hinge to the back of the legs. So you can go Y, you can make it to a T if you want. You can even do that I, whatever you want for your arms. So that round we'll be using two weights and alternating right and left or putting them together, right? So an example would be a row where we're doing the row together. One more time all the way through. Second round, we're isolating right side and left side. So that's where you may wanna go a little heavier and that's where those kettlebells can come into play. We're gonna go flat back down and round it up. For example, we can do a slinger bicep curl versus just a regular bicep curl. I'm gonna give you those options. So if you have some heavier options, especially when we isolate, the fun thing about this workout is it is a true back to basics workout, meaning no crazy combos, no compound movements where you're gonna do a squat and do a press, nothing like that. We're keeping it back to basics. One move, I want you to go heavy and I want you to go hard. 40 seconds of strength, go ahead and walk it back right through here. Take your hands here. If you're able, walk it back and walk it up all the way through. If that's not right for you, I just want you to touch it down, tap back, tap back. I just want you to get that core warmed up while we also work through those shoulders. So true back to basics, and we're gonna get it done in 25 minutes. Right through here. One more if you can. Take it down to your knees, child's pose, little stretch. Come back up for that core. So stretch your shoulders. You can either come back all fours or come to that plank. And then we're gonna jump right in into those weights. So upper body focus, working in some core, starting with some things together, dumbbells, and then isolating right side and left side. What do we do right side and left side? We're just going 30 seconds. Go ahead and come back onto your feet and slowly roll it up. All right, team, so tap it out and reach. Watch me, your very first move is going to be that bent over row. So I want you to grab two heavy dumbbells. You can go heavy with this because you're strong. Bend your knees to get them. Watch me here, we're gonna hinge. We're gonna pull those weights to our hips, drop it down. So get set, core engaged. Here we go, right here. I want you really to be thinking about your lats, those big muscles down along your spine. And something that can help with that is to relax on those upper shoulders. They get super tight. If you need to stagger, that can help. And pull the weights towards your hip bones, right? Rib cage and hip bones, but when we think a little lower, that's gonna help us keep it really focused in those back muscles, those posture muscles. When we isolate it, we'll stagger, and it'll be a little easier to get that done. Three, two, one, and relax. Set those down. Next, that was our super basic pull. Let's go super basic press. So I'm gonna take it here. I'm actually gonna wrap them in so I get a little more chest. So that Arnold press in, press up and out. If you'd rather alternate, I'm gonna go medium weights here with my tens. You do what's best for you. Here we go. And in, yes. Now again, I'm going out and in because we don't have a regular chest press in this workout. We're gonna focus more on triceps. 
but I want you to get that upper body push with this nice strong press here. So here as we go out, shoulders, chest and shoulders, up, making sure we're not arching that back, core engage again, you can stagger if you need to. Here we go, three, two, one, and relax. All right, team, meet me on the mat. We're going to a dead bug. If you want to take it standing, you can be here for your core. We're going to take it no weights, but we're going to add a weight when we separate this out. So your classic dead bug, opposite arm, opposite leg. I want you to really focus on that core stabilization. Little tuck of the pelvis. Button up the rib cage. Nice and steady. Here we go. Now, again, using your breath. This is generally safe for most of us, but you may need to do a march, depending on where you are in your journey, if that feels like you're pulling your back. Here to here. Really taking your time. When we isolate it right side, left side, we're gonna add one leg dumbbell to make it a little different. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, hug those knees in, back up onto your feet. All right, team, so this is it. Now we got one side, so I'm gonna go a little heavier with my heavier kettlebell. These muscles are strong, so I want you to go for it. We'll give you five or 10 seconds in between to switch your legs, but we're gonna stagger. If you wanna hold on to the wall or put your knee on a bench, you can, but we're gonna pull from the floor, bring it up and drop it down. Let's do it, core engaged, shoulders back, here we go. So I really want you to go heavy on this. If you don't have heavy weights, try holding two in one hand or slow down your reps. Take it up for two, down for two, right? I want you to be thinking about what makes this more challenging being just on one side, right? Because that is what we're going for. Again, I told you, true, back to basics, three, Two, one, oh, go heavy if you can. Maybe it's something that you never thought you could do a row with before, but I think you can. Core engage, three, two, one. I often like to have this opposite hand out because it helps me keep my back flat, right? Making sure I'm not rounding here. It's gonna keep it up. Yes, team. 10 seconds, still pulling to the hip, still squeezing in the shoulder blades, but really think that you're pulling from the floor. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. Set it down. All right, team, we have the same with that press. Up and out and in. Now, if you want to try a kettlebell, that's going to get challenging. I'm going to try it, or one dumbbell, but I still want you to come in and out and then wrap it in. Use this hand if you need to. Here we go. Out and in. If you don't have a kettlebell, a dumbbell works totally fine. I'm just doing this so I can go a little heavier. Take it up, woo! If you need to, if you have your dumbbell, it's gonna look, you can probably get a little more range of motion because you're not racked in that spot. Now I have to do both on the other side, right? Three, two, one, switch it over quickly. Here we go, up and out and in. Halfway point, I'm gonna have to switch to that kettlebell. Just using this hand here to steady it. You obviously don't have to, but core engage. Woo! Here we go. Oh man, I may not be able to get it done with this, but I'm gonna try three, two, one. Obviously I couldn't, <laughs> but I did. I'm being where I am today, right? Isn't that what you guys would tell me? Shake that out, watch me here. We are taking it down to our dead bug. If you have a lighter weight, you can go one side. If you have something heavier, you can go two, but here's what we've got. I'm just gonna go one side here to here. If you only have something heavier, we're gonna keep one side with your legs. Little pullover with two, with two hands. All right, join me here. Here we go. So if your right hand is going back, 
right here. It's not triceps, we're not bending, it's a pullover. But again, that might not feel right for you. Maybe you have something a little heavier. Keep it one side. And guess what, we're gonna go right into that other side. I want you to keep that other leg at 90 degrees, not in here, right? See what happens when you take it out to that 90 degrees. You're gonna feel that core have to stabilize more. And let's switch our sides right here. Again, you can do one dumbbell. I have a little more range of motion on this side. Whoo, burn. That shoulder feels a little better. Or two. Close that core. Yes, you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Yes, team, stretch it out. And let's go ahead and grab a sip of water, right? Not so bad. Going heavy, feeling strong. Let's do it again for a second circuit. Cheers, y'all. Getting it done. This circuit's a tiny bit longer because we have one extra exercise, but it's a good one. So here's what we've got. We're gonna take it with our bicep curl. We're gonna do a reverse fly. We're gonna take it to a plank version, and then we've got some lying overhead triceps. Then we will separate them all out. If you wanna add something different, for instance, for our bicep curl, we're gonna add a slinger curl or slinger curl here, so you can go a little heavier. I'm gonna give you those options. Starting with a super basic bicep curl, core engaged right through here. Go ahead and grab those weights. We've got 40 seconds. Shoulders back. These are these smaller muscles. Let's take it right here. Smaller in the sense that I always think these first two, oh, I should be going heavier. And then as we get closer to the end of this round, right? We're gonna feel it a little bit more. Now this can be your regular bicep curl. You can stagger if you feel it in your back. You can take it hammer curl, up to you, right? Or somewhere in between, you can always alternate. Yes, breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Set them down. We're taking it to a reverse fly. So we got pull and pull. Again, smaller accessory muscles. So stagger here, take it here. Trying to lift at least level with the shoulders if you can or a little bit below. You don't have to hyper extend, but let's get it done. Nice flat back. Here we go. Now this is not gonna be one that you're gonna do the same weight as your bent over rows, right? Because we're moving further away from the midline of the body and we're moving more from those shoulders instead of those lats, the bigger muscles along our spine. Our bigger, muscle, bigger muscles tend to be stronger, right? This one gets really challenging for me. We're really gonna feel it when we just do the right side. 10 seconds, remember you can always alternate if it starts to get too heavy. Yes, last one and relax. All right, team, join me down on the mat. We're coming into a plank position. Here's what I want. You can just hold, or you can go center, knee tap, right, and left. Totally up to you, but let's bring it up. Here we go. Hold, center, tap right, tap left. Right here, down and up. You can always take this on the wall if that's not right for you or stay on your knees and just tap back one at a time, right? Always an option. But stay lifted in that deep core, connecting all the way up through that pelvic floor. Right here. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, last one in this round. We're gonna go triceps. So two dumbbells if you got it. And watch me here. We're gonna shift those shoulders back just a bit and it's lying overhead triceps. Now, if that doesn't feel safe for you, you can do a close grip press. Elbows come right down by your side 
and you're still gonna activate those triceps, okay? So we're getting upper body push with a special focus on your tries. Here we go. And I like to remind you, even at that starting point, to shift your shoulders back just a bit. So you can really feel the back of the arms. Perfectly fine to do this with one dumbbell between two hands, if that's a better option for you. Right here. And up. Told you it was true. Back to basics, not adding a bridge, not adding some core. You know me, I'm all about that time efficiency. But since we're just getting our upper and our core, let's take it right here. Why not? Three, two, one. Woo! All right, team, back up onto your feet. All right, so here's what we got. Starting with that bicep curl. You can just have one dumbbell and just go here. If you have a kettlebell and you wanna try something a little different, your slinger curl is here, right? You either turn into it or you come up with it, right? So 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Either option will do, regular bicep curl on one side or slinger curl either from the side or down below. I'm gonna go with the slinger. I know some of you love it, so why not? Otherwise, just hang with me. Here we go, 30 seconds. And here. What's nice about the slinger is we tend to be able to go a little bit heavier. This is 17 pounds, right? Eight kilograms. Whereas 17 would be hard for me to do a regular bicep curl, but I get a little power and I get a little extra core. Three, two, one, and relax. Don't feel like you have to do the slinger curl. Totally fine to just do a regular bicep curl on one side. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. And here. And here. Boom. Ah, yes, you can. Right here. 10 seconds, strong core. Oh, harder on that second side, I know. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo! All right, team, so I'm gonna go exactly the same with my reverse fly, that same 10 pounder. If you want a little balance, you can grab onto the wall, but think of it just like that row. We're gonna go out and bring it in. If you wanna experiment with where your palm is, you can do that too. Let's get it done. Three, two, one, out. As in, here's your regular reverse fly, all in one side. You can try turning that palm forward for a few reps turning it backward. You're gonna feel the difference in those shoulders, right? Yes. 10 seconds. Stay in that hinge position. I know as we get tired and relax. Come up out of it. Give yourself just a second. Let's take it other side. Here we go. Regular. Or turn that palm forward. Turn that palm to the back. You still want to get that same range of motion. As you get tired, really pull on that core as I lift with that core. Oh, I know. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, team. So we're taking it into a side plank. Here's what I want to add a little upper body. We're gonna come into a side plank. We're gonna pull that elbow behind, drop it down. Pull that elbow behind. You can either do a light to medium weight or no weight, but here we go. And down. This way, we're getting one side of our plank, right? Left side, right side. But we're also getting upper body pull. In the lower body version of this workout, we do a side clamshell, right? Breathe up. You can also always be on the knee if you need a little extra support in that side plank. Three, two, one, 
Guys, we are so close to being done with this workout. Let's finish it out. Knees or toes, lift and pull. Three, two, one. And lift. And lift. Boom. Uh, remember, knee is fine. Sometimes you may feel like you have slightly better form on your knees. Just make sure you're not pushing through the elbows or the knee. Really try to lift from here, right? Pull that weight towards the back of your body, using your back muscles, upper pull. Last one, ha, and relax. All right, team, so last one on the mat, we've got triceps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across our body. You can either have this hand here or spotting it here, but whatever feels more comfortable for you. And if that doesn't feel right for you, you can just do a one-sided press, close grip, elbows in, and you'll still get those triceps. But if you can, across your body here, or having it here, get set, core engage, slide back just a little. Here we go, let's make those triceps burn. Really trying to get towards that opposite shoulder. So it's a little different. If you feel more comfortable doing just the one-sided version of what we just did, you can do that too. But if you're able, you're gonna feel the difference, right? Whoo, burn. Go for it, you are strong. I know they're burning, they're screaming at you. Mine are too, but let's finish it out last. One, whoo. <laughs> Switch to that other side, get set. Take it across. Here we go. I know those first like two or three, you're like, this is not so bad. Shift it back just a little. And again, if you don't feel comfortable coming across your body, you can have this opposite hand that actually even gives you a little spotter, or you can just go right here and up. Oh, burn. Yes, you can. Three, two, one, and relax. Yes, team, big stretch right through there. Ha, I know. Woo. All right, team, one last move. Yeah, we might as well call it a bonus move. How about we get some core and we get some upper push and pull all together. Here's what we got, team. We've got, let's go 60 seconds. Why not, since it's a bonus move. We're gonna take it all the way down in that upper push. We're gonna do that Superman upper pull. We're gonna bring it all the way up and climber four, three, two, one for core and cardio. All the way down, Superman for your back, upper push, triceps, shoulders, all of it, and then climber for four for core. Let's do it 60 seconds, then I promise we're cooling it down. Here we go. All the way down, lift. Bring it in, push it up, run it or tap it for four each side. If you can, if going all the way down is not right for you, I just want you to do a bird dog and then you can just tap them in. You can be here. Bird dog right here. You can just keep it right there. Push up from your knees to that bird dog if you can, down. Lift and squeeze, in, power up. Four, three, two, so close. Down, lift, in, up, core, upper push, upper pull, and cardio. Down, lift, finish strong, take it up. Four, three, two, one. Stretch it back, yes, team, you did it. Press those shoulders back. Had to end on a high note, right? I hope that you're like me and your arms and your shoulders and your triceps and your back are feeling pretty fatigued. Let's bring it up onto all fours. If those wrists are bothering you, you can come on your fist and round through your cat cow. And I hope you feel this tomorrow. Let me know in the comments, do you like back to basics like that? Do you like it when we slow it down and we just get one move? and we isolate right side, left side. Let's take one arm under in that child's pose, get that stretch. Or do you prefer a little more 
high intensity compound movements, metabolic conditioning, or do you like a mix of both? I think that's me. I love putting things together. I love feeling like we're saving time. I love getting our heart rates up with our strength training, which we can do. Roll back onto your feet and come up halfway. Just feel that stretch in your shoulders. But I also really like back to basics and isolating. Slowly roll it up. Because as you can tell, we can go heavy, we can focus on form, and we can get it done. Let's take that arm across, roll that wrist right through here. Make sure you get some more stretching on your own, that you hydrate. And of course, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Let me know how you are feeling. Oh, even just that. I am feeling those arms. Short and sweet, but effective. Getting it done. Bookmark this workout if you want something quick where you can really just go for it, go heavy. One move at a time and then isolate right side, left side. Roll those wrists, roll those shoulders. Thank you so much for being here today. Check out all the info in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get one big deep breath in. And out, you did it. That was your arms and core sculpt workout. Great job, everybody.